feel like Roppongi is like my favorite place, my favorite neighborhood in Japan. There's so many cool cafes and restaurants. And we're going to a special shabu place, Kensuta. This is really special and obviously very fancy shabu place. And this is the brainchild of Chef Moriyama. He gave me in my own private room, so it's pretty awesome. And what's really cool about this is this is a coarse shabu meal for two people. And I'm doing a combination of pork and wagyu. It's gonna look amazing. I saw the pictures, I'm like, I have to have that in my stomach. First course is served steamed oyster rice. This looks amazing. The rice looks like it has a bit of crisp to it. Big old chunk of oyster, some mushrooms, some greens. Mm. Oh, it's not a mushroom. It's a little yam. Mm. This just woke all my sleeping taste buds up. Little bits of ginger, plump oyster. Ah, that rice is perfect. Aged one yeah, yeah, yeah. aged potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to go up. Interesting. Become more sweet. More sweet yeah, yeah. when you age a potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kawaii is a water chestnut. Water chestnut, yes, and yes. And shiitake uh, mushroom. Shiitake yeah, mushroom. Both, uh, braised in Dutch broth, the Japanese broth. Oh, yeah. peppercorn. This is exquisite. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is crazy. This place represents the seasons of Tokyo. This is one of the most intricately beautiful display of food I've ever seen in a hot pot place. So I think I'm gonna go this way and end up at the sweet um, rice cake. Shiitake mushroom with a little peppercorn. Mmm. That was spring in my mouth. That might be one of the juiciest shiitake mushrooms. I've ever put in my mouth. You know, sweet, the little numminess from the peppercorn. What an amazing balance. So we got the sour salted plum. We got the fish wrapped inside the daikon. This is just too pretty. Oh. Mmm. Water chestnut. They boiled it, so it tastes almost like a potato. That fish, fresh and creamy, and then the next thing you put in your mouth is that crunchy plum. Did you hear how loud that was? That thing be thrown out of a library. Cauliflower with some seaweed. <laughs> Cauliflower overboard. Seaweed overboard. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just painful. I'm so sorry. I apologize to the food artist. Mm. I rarely compliment anything that's even related to broccoli, but that was a really crunchy cauliflower with just a burst of umami. I'm so excited for this. Aged potato with a little dash of wasabi. Oh my God. That was insane. Age all your potatoes from now on. Trust me, it's naturally sweeter, intensely creamy. I don't know if the aging process like somehow made the potato flavor even more intricate, but you see what I'm doing right now? I'm literally licking every single tiny bit of potato from this little cup. That was gone way too soon. Okay, this is the sweet little rice cake. With, look at this little leaf. Look at it. I feel like a little frog should be sitting on top of this or something. How oh, pretty. Not that I would enjoy this more if there was a live frog sitting on it. That's not what I meant. It looks like a pretty little lily pad. Mm. This is an amazing meal to itself. Oh, I love this. Next, we have side dish. Grated uh, vegetables. Grated vegetables. Yeah. Oh, huh. this beef miso is so out of this world. NASA should be investigating it. Oh, mm. sweet and the amount of umami is enough to send your taste buds soaring. Mmm, it's like a hot potato. Ooh, I'm dipping this in a little bit of this miso. Oh, they need to bottle this miso up. Also, Lotus chips. It's like the Doritos of Asia. This meal just keeps blowing my mind. <clears throat> so good. Oh, here comes the main event. Oh, wow. So half pork, half wagyu, right? Yes, yes. Uh, Japanese uh, beef, Japanese beef from um, the Kyushu region. Kyushu region. Kyushu region. Uh, A5? 
Yeah, yeah. A5? Yeah. Great. And this is just insane. A5 Wagyu on one side. The other side, some of the best pork in Japan. And it's like, like a volcano. In the middle is the broth that you dip it in. Have you ever seen hot pot look like this before? And of course there's veggies underneath. This is not just like a loaf of meat. Look at that beautiful marbling and pattern. And when it goes to the pork, you see all the nice segregation, all the nice mixture, all the beautiful fat. This is uh, our restaurant original spice. Oh. Yeah, pepper. Oh. Mm. Ooh. This is Fujiya. He's helping, <laughs> he's helping me tonight. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Uh, cutting scallion. In, but scallions. scallions go in. Yeah. Okay, okay. Next, green scallions. Green scallions then. Okay, okay. you yes. see the green scallions on the side. Yes. This is like a bouquet of meat. Oh yes. my gosh. Yes. To discover a new type of hot pot. Amazing. Look at that Wagyu. And you can see if you look at the lean part of the meat, the marbling just snaking through it. Oh my God. Words will never be able to do this justice. I mean, not only is the meat fatty, it's cooked in this fantastic broth. That is fresh and light from the spring onions. That tastes like a porky spring. I mean, it's just so fresh from the scallions. At the same time, you get that great deep flavor from the pork. Let's get a chunk of meat with some veggies. And this is the tomato-based broth. Mmm, that is so good. It's just sweet and sour. And this is the oxtail broth. The fatty flavor of the Wagyu intensifies a lot. I mean, this is a lot of fat you tasting here. I'm gonna try their uh, their chili sauce, which apparently they age here. Oh, I need more. This is definitely the shabu for intricate pellets. I mean, coming here, you're not going to a restaurant where you're just like getting all you can eat meat and stuffing in your face. This is one of the places where you stop and you taste the ingredients. And the ingredients are so fresh. It's really unlike any other shabu I've had before. Oh, that pork's awesome. That sucker's about as melty as the Wagyu beef. I mean, coming in here, I knew what this place was. I really wanted to try this new shabu. I knew there's vegetables underneath the meat, so I'm not like, it's not like, oh, hey, I'm expecting this to be like a loaf of meat. It's not supposed to be like, you would never find that in Japan, right? Because that's something you will find in like a restaurant that I open. You're gonna find all that great crunchy vegetables. And what's so cool about spring onions is that Japanese spring onions has just this amazing sweetness and crunch to it. So eating that with your meat, it brings up what I feel like much welcomed extra texture. So when that meat is melting in your mouth, all of a sudden you got this like crunchy, springy, sweet bite of veggies. Just kind of like wake your mouth back up, you know? Remember if you come here, you actually have real chunks of oxtail sitting in here. Don't you sleep on that. I really like this pepper sauce. Ume miso pepper. This is not like overly spicy. I don't really even feel like this is spicy, but this gives you that extra kick right around the back of your tongue. Oh, all right. Last bits of meat and veggies going in. I'm kind of over flooding this a little bit. After this, there's a hundred percent time to go home and pass out. But truly, you're amazing meal. As always guys, all the places I went to, this is down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching until we eat again. See you later. A few moments later. Oh, so I was walking out and they were like, oh, you're leaving without the noodle or dessert? And I'm like, uh, I never leave food behind. There's noodle and there's gonna be dessert. <sighs> Staying for that for sure. Special noodle. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be cooked in all that great beef and pork stock. That's a giant pepper mill. So from the land of giants, seriously.
that's a chewy noodle. He says to add some salt if you need it. I definitely do. And also some of this um, black pepper sauce. Oh. oh yeah, that pepper sauce, it's like a magical elixir for soups. But seriously, that noodle, that's just about as springy as it can get. Couldn't believe I was gonna walk out here without trying this. The option that I picked for this restaurant, there's different sets of meat. I mean, I definitely got one of the pricier options. I think it's like $80 per person. If you wanna try something with just like really high quality ingredients, it's something different in a shabu form. This is a really interesting place to try it. Seriously, this is great in soups. All right, dessert is here. This is Jinza. This is classic Japanese sweets. So it's mixed white beans and a little bit of fruit. So pretty. Wow. It's fragrant. It's sweet. Mmm. It tastes like a spring garden, like a flowery meadow. This restaurant is basically like a fancy set meal for shabu lovers. All right, now, I can go home and pass out.